Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Well, I had a bunch of emails and one person commented on the video. I'd like to thank Mr. Randall Zubrick. I think I got that pronounced right. If not, I'm sorry. But they wanted to know how to build one of these things. And so I've got this video here on building this one here for this young lady. And we're going to take you along for the entire build. Any questions, don't hesitate to get on that Gmail right there and let me know and tell me about it. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about it. I appreciate it. Let's go along for a build. Well, here we are. This is the first step. Couldn't find decent untreated 1x6s or 1x8s. There were none available. So this, of course, is spruce from Canada. So we're going to take a 2x6. And for the outside pieces I'll show you, for the actual cabinet part, we're going to plane them down to one inch. And we're going to probably take the drawer material down to about one inch, maybe a little bit thinner. Just haven't quite decided on that yet. But this is the first process. It'll take a while. We're going to plane all this stuff down and get it to the right thickness. Well, here we are. We're set up. Got the measurements from the young lady. She said this box can be 48 by 48 it's seven and a half inches high so that gives us plenty of room for a five inch shelf but being the, the boards i have here for the riser part is two by sixes they're only five and a half i cut some pieces here and i'll show you that profile we cut a notch at it and i'm going to show you what that notch is for in a minute this right here is what raises that two by six up to make it high enough for the drawer to file in. And we're gonna put our little plastic slides right in this notch here. And this notch is about a quarter inch deep, and 3 16 high. We uh, went ahead and scavenged it. We made our plastic rubber slides out of blue barrels. And we took an inch and a half piece of material, probably should have used two inches. But we're gonna go ahead and cut this plywood in half right now. And we're going to start building this bottom section, and I'll show you how all this stuff goes together. Well, this is what we're going to do. We have four foot long, 48 inches, two by six. Now, I will say this much. This was an inch and a half. Plane these down to one inch. And you can milk, make a silk purse out of a sow's ear once you take that rough grade wood. And anything you buy at the big box store is going to be rough grade. It's kind of like military contracting. If it's that big box store in the military, you can rest assured that it was produced and made by the cheapest contractor they could find. And uh, that's what this stuff is. But by the time you plane the outside perfections down, they're not too bad. Now for the box frame, we're going to have one on the outside, one in the middle, one on the edge, one across the back because this is going to be a two drawer cabinet. They're playing down to one inch and the drawers are down to about three quarter, 13 sixteenths. I'll show you why, but like I said, we're going to raise this thing up right here about another seven eighths of an inch. And you'll understand that when I get to this point, but I got three of them with a single notch and one of my little riser boards, I have a double notch cut in it. And this one will be for the middle one. And I'll get to that point with the blue runner strips in here, and I'll kind of show you why. Well, here's what we do. Now, this is the bottom of the board. This is one side, be finished, sandable grade. That's why the knots and all aren't filled in. This is the bottom side. It's upside down. And if the sun ain't glaring too bad, this is the regular 2x6. And this is that little strip that we added right here. Here's the 2x6. Right there's that little piece. We're going to turn it over and get this middle section in here. And I'll show you what it all looks like. Okay, out of all of them, this is the one with a double notch cut on it in the middle. You'll see why here in a minute. And I've done my best to try to make sure both sides are going to be even. So that uh, this is the end of it here if I can get back far enough. This will be one drawer here, one drawer here. She only wants two drawers in this thing. I want that thing dead center, so make it easy on me. I can just build two drawers of the same size. And we're gonna go ahead and put one screw in here, glue this, screw the back end, and turn it over and 
hopefully we can uh, drill down a line and not miss. So far I haven't come through any of the sides with any of the screws. I drilled them and screwed them. Now on the bottom, we use three inch deck screws, mainly because it's got, this piece here is almost an inch, and this is an inch. The other one's the top, we use two inch. Well, that means it only come in the real wood, about a half inch. I didn't have any two and a half inch screws, so we used three inch screws and drilled them. So let me get this center section in, see if I can get it centered up good and make it look pretty. And then I'm gonna put this blue stuff in and I'm gonna show you what it all does. Well, here's my thinking of these little blue strips. Like I said, these pieces right here, you can see they're curving. They're cut out of my other video where we did the spring, we cut them barrels. But this is the band. This goes around the drum. So 55 gallon drum's about two foot in diameter. So 24 inches times pi comes out there like six foot four long. We're only using four foot. And uh, they actually fit, if I can get down here and you can see it, in my little notches I cut. And they'll go up in here. These things are made out of HDPE plastic, which means other than some heat weld, you can't glue the stuff. So this right here will be the drawer. And if you tell, if I can get you in there without making you sick. Oh, there it is. The drawer slide. This will be the drawer slide material. We'll actually rub on it and we'll put the screw Come on, where's my finger in the thing here? We'll put my screw out there. So that way, none of it hits on it. Where the back part of the drawer comes across and the screw hits, we'll go ahead and put a little notch in the drawer so nothing hits it. But this is my uh, sliding part of the bearings on this drawer. And that right there is about what it'll look like with this piece being made into the drawer. And it'll slide on that plastic um you can buy regular drawer slides but 48 inch ones are about 150 dollars a pair or better if you want them strong enough they're a couple hundred dollars a pair so so far to date we get this thing done we're going to have about 75 dollars in all the material going out and buying everything so it's not bad so here's the other thing we added this little block of wood right here for this reason Here's the whole height of the drawer. We're going to dado this out right here for plywood to fit in here for the bottom of the drawer. And then the top will be right here. And that way it gives you enough room to slide drawer in and out with nothing binding. And we're going to go ahead and attach these things and cut the ends off. And we'll show you what it looks like when we get to that point. And we'll start building them drawers. Well, I'm sorry for this, but as I said, this is part one. This is where uh, YouTube said my video was too long all at one time to put on. So this is part one, and I'm going to go ahead and have part two download it just behind this. So sorry for this, but stay tuned and watch part two.